Welcome to the 10th Africa Magic Viewers Choice Awards. Hello everyone, you're welcome to Business Day AMVCA Review, brought to you in partnership with the Movement Studio. My name is Linda Ochuwe. With me in the studio is... I'm Anthony Odubra. Nice to meet you. Nice to be here. So nice to have you with me. So, okay, so it's, this is going to be really quick and fast. We just want to have a review of the beautiful night at the AMVCA Awards that just went down this weekend. We want to talk about the awards and those who were nominated and those who made it through as the winners and just give a kind of recap and explaining what we feel or felt should have been done. Anthony, how was the night? Yeah, the night was beautiful. Beautiful production by um, Live Sports. They are the ones that produced um, this oh, year's nice. event. And it was a good show. It was a great show. Um, the production was good. Um, shout out to the um, presenter, Ikeo Sakodua. He has done it for 10 years now. Wow. Uh, it's, it's a great... It's, it's a legend Yeah, now. he's a legend. He's a so legend. Good. Yeah, there were, there were um, performances from Awilo, the legend. We had from Chike and we had from Adekunle Good as well. Very, very good show. Very good show. And a shout out to EMVCA team as well. They did so well in the, produ the production. Really cool. Okay, yeah. so there's always and there will always be debates around the awards, right? So those yeah. who have been nominated, those who won, for those who won, of course, they are happy and those who didn't win. You get to hear a lot of people talking and wishing that their kind of movies made it. Mm. So I I was happy because for me, I'm really strong and keen about the storyline. So it's not just about the movie or marketing. I feel like if a movie is really good, the storyline has to be really very good. Mm. Then you add the production, the cast, the crew, cinematography, and all that then makes it a perfect movie. So you have some movies that are good, but mm. not great. But just a few of them are that great. And I must give it up to The Bread of Life. They did a good job. I loved it. Like, But I didn't know it was going to bag six hours. I knew it was going to be good. But I didn't expect this number. So what I want us to do quickly is just talk about the different levels of nominations or different categories. And then we'll talk about the winners and then we can discuss who we felt should have been there and wasn't there. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so quickly, we'll just talk about the best supporting actor. And the winner was Demola Adedoni from The Breath of Life. And um, best supporting actress, the winner was Genoviva Ume from The Breath of Life. Mm. Uh, the best lead actor, we have Wale Ojo from The Breath of Life again. Best lead actress, we had Kende Bankole from Adire. I really liked Adire, it was cool. Then the best director, we have the winner as Bibi Sasore from The Breath of Life. We have best indigenous language film, West Africa. The winner was Jagun Jagun from Femi Adebayo. Best movie, we had the winner as The Breath of Life Again. Best indigenous language movie, East Africa. The winner was Orimi Ola Ogie from The Strong One. Best costume design, the winner was Jagun Jagun, Lola Away. The best sound design, we had the winner from Blood Vessel, which was Greg Jones Osase. Mm. Best act direction we have the winner as the over over the bridge abisola omolade so that is still coming soon we haven't even seen it but they said they were really good so i'm waiting forward i'm looking forward to seeing that movie mm. best makeup the winner was mami water campbell precious arebame very good best writing movie we have the winner um trying to see who the winner was in that category the winner was fumilayo ransom kuti tunde Baba Lola. Mm. Now let's dive in quickly. So we, I felt like, so there's this debate on social media right now with a tribe called Judah, the Breath of Life, and you know the whole complexity of people kind to, tend to feel like because a movie is like the most watched and everyone went to the cinema during Christmas to see a tribe called Judah broke the box office 1.2 billion and still counting, people felt like that movie should have at least kind of bagged one award what do you feel about that Anthony? yeah i feel like it's the same thing with um hollywood we see the, the movies mm -hmm. that go to the oscars and they are very uh these these movies are quite they're very good sure. we have movies like the avengers everybody watches the avengers everybody have seen it sure. it has made the big is like the biggest um superhero franchise in the world but it hasn't won any Award. um awards on the oscars so it's not by how much you make at the box the box office it um, depends on the jury and the people who vote for um, 
you know, as the winners of this. How would you rate a tribe called Judah, the movie? The Tribe Called Judah was a very good movie. Shout out to Funke Akindele. She did so well in the movie. And um, I wouldn't give that my 10 out of 10 ratings because of the storyline you know, towards the end of the film. There are talks about that. But shout out to her. She did a very good work. She did a very great movie. And, you know, 1.2 billion. We broke Not that story and it was it was a good story. So to me, I felt The Tribe Called Judah was a good movie. So you made this distinction, right, between a good movie and a great movie. Mm. Uh, the storyline is always cool. And I feel she did a very good job until she got towards the end of the scenes and when we got to that robbery point. And everyone was like wondering what's happening here. There was kind of like a disjoint and towards the end. But it was a great movie. And a lot of debates, a lot of people are just explaining online also saying, maybe it's the marketing. So do you feel like when you have a good marketing team, you tend to have more people go watch your movie? Might not technically be great, but it'll be good and you make more money in the cinema, you might not win awards. What do you feel? Yeah, I think um, for a great movie to do well at the box office and to break even, you have to have a good marketing team. You have to have a good strategy. And that's what she did. And shout out to her. And that's why she good, good, you know, what she did. She She's a legend already in the industry. I feel she is. So one thing I have to give to Funke Akinele is the fact that her marketing is always impeccable. You have to sit down and think through and say, okay, the timing, when do I bring this movie out? Are people ready to watch this movie? Mm. Number one, you also have to create a movie that people can understand and connect with. And I think she's really good with that, trying to create movies that are at that bottom of the pyramid that a lot of people will want to watch, a lot of people will want to laugh about, and they mm. can connect with. This was not really that funny for this, but the previous ones she had always created. She always tries to get to the people at the bottom and she does a good job with it. Mm. Her marketing is zero to none. Like she's good with marketing, understanding where to put this advert, how to drag people to the cinema. Yep. I must give it to her. But then a lot of people didn't actually see Breath of Life. I'm sure that Breath of Life is going to see a surge in numbers now because everybody would actually want to go and check out wondering how can just or one movie back six awards in one night mm. what it is about this movie what do you feel so the movie bread of life when i saw the movie it was a very good movie i that was the first movie i actually um had to you know tell my friends to go see mm. recommended them and said oh this is great go, go see this movie go do this you know um while joe did so well mm. chimese Imo did so well then shout out to supporting actress as well genoveva made it so well and that's why they backed their watch um as we, we, we didn't mention uh, Chimi Zeume, who backed the Trailblazer Awards, and it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a good one for him. The start, of, the start of his career, he has done so well. And I think that will also spike a, um, a number the views on Amazon Prime. Definitely. Um, that, that, was a good, um, that was a good one for um, Amazon Prime. They did so well as well, you know, putting the movie out there. You know, it, and this shows that um, the, the, the awards in, on, in Nigeria, the award shows in Nigeria are now inclusive. This is the first time uh, a movie from the streamers uh, is making this um, big, um, award, you six know, times. six times in, in, in one night. It, 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 it's a good one. And Fantastic. I feel, yeah. Uh, so when I saw the movie A Bread of Life, for me, I was blown away with the story. I, I know a lot of people, <laughs> I'm just, I think I'm a great fan of storyline. Some other things will work, you know, the cast and crew have to bring it to reality, what, you know, the producer wants them to do. But when you have a fantastic story, everything just falls in place because it's easy for people to connect and understand what you're trying to pass across. Where someone who is so bitter all of a sudden becomes so soft to the point of giving his life up for someone else, I think that was a twist I didn't see. And that love was just amazing. Yeah. One more thing. I want us to look at a, uh, Adire. Kane the Bankole's movie. I mm. know a lot of people have been talking about it, saying maybe she was just giving this year to make up. I don't really feel so. And the rare was also another very simple good <laughs> movie. I like the fact that she played her role well in trying to switch from when she was like a bad girl to becoming a very cool, calm, responsible girl. And then the whole village setting, the costume. And I feel like they tried to pay attention to detail bringing out the Yoruba culture in the movie and of course how people will always judge you. Mm. It was really good. Do you feel like Adire should have bagged it? Um, for her winning the Best Actress, uh, Best Lead Actress Award, I think that was a good one as well. Okay. She, okay. But I would also say that um, her performances in the 2022 Sister yeah. was a greater performance. I that one too. Was and yeah, and this is where the disparities between the um, the audience, 
voting and the jury voting comes in because this also sparked a conversation online and saying, oh, this is why we need the juries to vote. This is why we need the juries to vote. And this is why, this is the outcome of it all. She also has Igodaro, shout out to her as well. She won the best um, lead actress last year based off of audience vote as well. Mm. But because of, um, you know, people were saying the same thing as well that, oh, she should have won this. And, you know, there was all that conversation going around. Mm. But Adire was also a good movie. Is it up to sister? I don't know. That's my personal belief. But then again, <laughs> shout out to Kendi Bankole. She did so well. I think I think Kendi is getting better, you know, you know, with time. Sisters was really good because you remember the storyline of Sisters is almost similar to Bread of Life, a very touchy story of going through a lot in life and going through pain but trying to raise your head above water. Mm. A lot of people will always want to kind of resonate and connect to those kind of movies, real mm. storylines. But Adire was good because for me, I think she played different roles in one movie. Mm. You know, moving and switching from a bad girl to a very responsible girl and all that. It was cool. I'm happy for her and I hope she bags more next year. Mm. What I want us to look at quickly before we end the show today is, do you feel like some other categories should be added to this AMVCA awards? What do you feel? And let's not forget, what do you feel about adding movies that are streaming on YouTube? Yes, the move YouTube is a very good platform for us to um is, is a very is a, is a big platform right now. I think Nollywood is going towards um the YouTube platform just to they pay more as okay. I heard. Yes. Okay. And uh, there's a freedom, there's no um gatekeepers in YouTube. You just go and do your thing, come outside, make your money, and that's okay. what it is. I think it's going to be more explored. Now YouTube have come out to um they they're doing um a lot of things behind the scenes helping create content creators to monetize their page and do a lot of things as well so this is this is where um the diversity is coming and award shows should also look out for these things as well they are going to streaming as, as we saw with breath of life maybe very soon they will have to go to youtube because good movies are being made there you know a lot of people that do a lot you watch these films on, uh, on youtube so just give us an example of so i feel so i'm not a great fan of youtube all the time because most times i try to stream on netflix and on amazon, amazon prime but a lot of people are actually watching movies on youtube and the one i just bumped into last week unexpected places by bimbo adeoye was fantastic like i was so glued to it i didn't mm. do anything until i finished i'm like this is a good movie. Storyline, good. Cinematography, perfect. She didn't just bring anyhow actors and actresses. She brought A-level actors and actresses. And they did good. Timini was mm. in that movie. Really mm. cool. And the end, I didn't see that coming. Now, when she started, and in just nine days, I think this movie has grossed over six million views mm. in nine days. Mm. Imagine. And as you mentioned, a lot of people feel like YouTube is paying more because the more people watch it, the more you get paid. Or like being one of paid by Netflix and Amazon Prime. On YouTube, as long as people watch it forever, you keep making money. So a lot of people are going there. You have uh, Ruth Kaderi, you have um, Uche Jumbo, you have um, Omoni having their own channels, creating their own high quality good movies and i yeah. feel if a lot of people are watching it then they should be added you should give mm. them the opportunity to be nominated it can be something like best watched movie on youtube let the people watching the audience vote or most viewed movie on youtube it could be any category and for me i'm just saying they could actually give like a consolation bargain to best watch movie in the cinema so you know how you have a good movie but it's not fantastically great uh, this if a movie you know does well like 1.5 billion <laughs> i think we should just kind of encourage them and just give them something <laughs> let's just create something here and say best watch movie in the cinema for the year or most watch something just to kind of encourage them to do better well i think they've gotten their accolades from this the platform themselves they okay. made their money already okay so while they've done that the other movies who have done so well on the award you know worthy films like um bread of life as well they are also doing their own thing so i think where one does not do well on the It'll cinemas the somewhere. other one gets and i've always reviewed this before we go so the big question most times is we have movies that do very well in the cinema but don't bag any single award. Mm. And you have movies that bag so many awards and 
didn't do well in the cinema. I'm wondering why. What do you think is it? Should we kind of tweak the voting system a bit from jury to audience and audience to jury? And one more last thing. Afra Mifune was a very good movie. I mm. felt like at least they should have just given them one. Either maybe best lead actor or or even best movie. But I, I, Afra Mifune didn't do well in the cinema. Mm. Remember, most people didn't watch it. Yeah. I heard about it, but I didn't go until it came on Netflix and people started talking about it and reviewing and then everyone started watching it. What do you feel? Yeah, so quick one. That is well, that is the, the that's the plan for most producers now. They allow their movies to run the the, the theatrical um part on the cinema. Then after the that period, it goes to streaming platforms as well. And um, as you said, Out for Me from Now was a good movie. And to me, to my opinion, um, Alex Okubo did so well as a supporting actor, yeah, and he was good. Yeah. Then um. Therefore, us to talk about the um, bo- the audience vote and jury votes, mm-hmm. there should be a balance, yes. But if uh, we are saying an African Viewers Choice Award is a viewers award, mm. but uh, it's also the most prestigious, one of the most prestigious awards in Africa, mm-hmm. so it should live up to the par. And mm-hmm. so, while the while it's uh, there might be arguments out there uh, speaking on if it's going to be um, a or all jury or all audience but i think going to jury is, is is going to make the award more prestigious and yeah. okay you know we will always have our suggestions and yeah. things we feel like they can do to add to make it better yeah i feel it's a very good award i have to give it up to the you know team. to the team they're doing a fantastic job and you can never always have it right all the time because mm. some people will feel this one should have done well this actor should have won so mm. trust me you can't please everyone mm. But they are putting up a good show and I can see that they are getting better by the year. Yeah. Making it look like a world-class award. Like sure. I give it up to them. Yeah. On my final notes, I want to say, you know, thumbs up to the team. They've done a very good job. And we're looking forward to the next one. The next year. 11th AMVCA Awards. Like we can't wait again to the glamour, the costumes, clothes, mm. the presentation. And of course, who knows what's going to come next. We have, and we're sure that a lot of movies are going to come out. We are waiting to see them. And then we'll also talk about them. And hopefully, let the best man win. What let do the best man win. We end? Yeah, so uh, it's it's a good one. I, the show is going to be, the, it's, it's one of the best in Africa. It is, it's good. Cool. So I just wish them luck. I wish them the best. And I wish them, you know, good things coming going forward. It can only get better. Yeah, can only on that note, Anthony, yeah. thank you for having me on the show. Thank you. It was nice spending this few minutes with you talking about AMVC. Same here. Before to the next one. Next year. So once again, my name is Linda Ochworth, the movie critic, and my I, host on the show with me. I'm Anthony Udugba, and it's nice to be here. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.